Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and as we pan across this beautiful rural narrowboat scene I'll say we're about to head around that corner and in the much requested way have a look at what some of the canal side services are like. So we are down at Maysbury at the moment as I steadily try and hold the camera take a few steps up there and this is what the Maysbury Wharf services are like. Let's roll. Taking a moment to once again see this incredible canal scenery as we have a pan across, you can see the services on the far side of the canal, as most of them are. And let's hop up and over this bridge. And here we are on the actual service point itself. So you can see we've got these little temporary mooring mushrooms, so that you can obviously roll up here on your boat and actually use it for what it's intended. So, what have we got here? We'll start, I think, with the simple ones. First of all, this crane, which I can promise you is definitely not in use. Certainly not, I hope, for Tilly. Then, coming down here, we have got the pump-out toilet station, which is for the sort of proper, more substantial onboard toilets. I'm not going to go into that, as likewise I will not go into the uh, portable camping-style toilet emptying. I think it's still just a little bit too raw for me to put on video. <laughs> so, coming up, we then have your water point. Now these you'll find a few places on the canal where it'll literally just be a couple of these taps completely on their own in the middle of nowhere. Some of you may have seen my previous videos at places like St Martin's where you're literally talking about having, I think, maybe two or three of these just in the middle of perfect countryside and fields as far as the eye can see. And as you can see, it has got this lock on it, which, sorry for the shaky camera there, if we fetch out the magic key, well, hopefully, oh, that wasn't badly done for single-handed. You can see here, we've got the two attachments for two different types of hosepipe. If you turn the handle to one side, water out one side, handle to the other side, water out of the other. As simple as that. And basically, you just hose, well, use the hosepipe to attach it up to your water tank on your boat. So that's nice and simple, that's the water point done. And this is the portable toilet disposal place. Now that's signified by the black bucket, which I always think is not the best sign personally. But once again, using our magic key, if we open this up, as I've said before, it is basically just like a giant toilet, which is summed up pretty much as well as you can imagine when I show you that, which is, as I say, just like a giant toilet. Tip it all away, hope for the best, and then close the door and escape. <laughs> now there's something that Maysbury has which I think is quite a fancy addition especially considering it's well out of the way. First of all we've got this very nice open little area which I can imagine if you're filling up with water in the rain it's nice to come in here and shelter. You've got general toilets but also the unexpected addition of an actual shower. And what a shower it is! An absolutely enormous place. This is practically as big as my boat. <laughs> anyway, let's close the door on that. I hope you've enjoyed this random look around the services here. Once again, I think I'm going to thrust Mike Manning into shot because I like to try and get him some exposure. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been a very quick look at what you can expect at various service points on the canal. Like I say, the shower thing is definitely not something that I've come across I don't think anywhere else actually on the canal. So I'll say thank you very much for watching. As usual, subscribe for more sort of general day-to-day -day boat life videos and some fantastic scenery from the Montgomery Canal down here. What a great place. And as the camera pans around for one last look, I'll say make sure you check out the Facebook page for loads of photos and things like that. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook as well as on Twitter. And of course, check out my two books about life afloat, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream. Only £1.53 on Amazon, Kindle and goodness knows what other apps and devices. Until the next time, have a fantastic day and farewell.